Well, they ain't going to be working on the North Road for a week or so, so right. we'll try to get some answers on that. Right. Well, and that was another thing. Where did the CMP start on the North Road? It starts. It starts down by uh, Geraldine's, I think, because um, our end is definitely CMP. Mm -hmm. It goes down to Gerald. I think it goes to Geraldine's house. It might go as far as. The big farm on the top of the hill, you know. Yes, over the brook. More yeah, there about that. Right? I, I think Geraldine is actually a mayor. I think I'm not positive, but I think because whenever we lose power. Oh, she calls. Yeah. So it's it's right there. There's a <laughs> so cutoff. It's right, 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 it's right in the it's my, cut off right there. My thing is that road is ready to be paved. So why can't they come in and pave it up to CMP? And then it, it, it's just a short stretch. To pay the rest of it, they could do it when they go. You're ready to open it. Well, so, I mean, to to mobilize like that is not very cost effective. You know, to do all of it and leave. Uh, but they're right in town. Leave it, a quarter mile. It's not going to cost them that much because they're going to have to come back and overlay it. Yeah. I think they're doing the same thing with the rest of these roads. Though they're the Mudget Road, they left it. They're coming back to overlay it. So right. they're mobilizing all the time. Then it's not like they're doing just one road at a time. Well, you should lay them down. Yeah. Yeah. Lay right. Down. Okay, I why? think he moved his paper out of town. But they could have gone to Pike. Pike is right there. So they could get the same mix from Pike. Well, there's a lot of different well, relationships I, I, right. where he gets his product. It's not right. any of I'm not going to tell him where to get this product. I mean, no, I'm just, I, right. I wouldn't, it would just be a suggestion. I mean, yeah. Right. He did mention uh, Sargent when they get going. Mm -hmm. They got right. a new, new plant. Yeah. I see the Miles Road was done overlaid. And that's, yeah. I drove across it. Before I come here, and they, that was another. That's why I asked you about backing up shoulders, right? Because some of that is actually starting to wash away with just the rain tonight, right? So those are probably going to continue to be problem areas. I think so you don't need that position, right? And that's that's where Brent would come in. I mean, not necessarily Brent, but that position right. would be able to identify stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then we, what becomes a hazard. Well, Brent, we can certainly discuss it at the at the budget meeting. I mean, more than welcome to come and talk about it. Just trying to keep that mill rate. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things we can't control: the school, the um, Scott County, the trash. We're losing um, how much in Homestead exemption? About a million dollars in value. About a million dollars. We've in gained some of it back, but. Gosh, I thought you guys had a lot of money. We do, in surplus. <laughs> well, you got us in that one popcorn. I figured you had plenty of money. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Have you been out and observed the dirt roads being graded before the hot top goes on them? Just by driving on them. Yeah. Real slow or real fast? Or? No, I don't drive fast in my van. <laughs> So, so you must have seen what I seen up there. As in, you're gonna have a pothole in about two years everywhere. There's a pothole on the yep, road. Yeah, my ass got about that. He told me they were pulling gravel into the potholes before they tied over it, so there wouldn't be a cavity over it. Is that what you mean? Exactly. Right. But the pothole is this deep, and they're going down that far. If you don't go to the bottom of it, the pothole's coming back. All you're doing is bridging it with hot top. Right. And in two years, that's going to break, and you're going to have a pothole. Every place is a pothole on these dirt roads. So if he fills the pothole before he ties, is that acceptable? He should dig it, it out. He's got to dig it out. He's got to dig it out. can't just fill it. Well, then that's why we have potholes after the grader, a while after the grader goes over it. But it's too late now. They've already been laying hot top, so... With the grader, they should have cut below. With $1.9 million being spent, somebody should have been out there investigating all of this. So that was speaking one, as a taxpayer, not as a road person. That was another thing I noticed on the Northrop Extension. I drove across it this weekend, and there was potholes in it still. <laughs> and it, if you don't cut below those potholes, they're going to be right back. All you're doing is filling in with loose material. Even though you're running it over the roller, Thank you're you. still not getting the compaction. Yeah, I know we had talked... Brent had filled us in on the regular North Road beforehand when we were going to mill and fill it, and whether or not we were going to get below the potholes. Okay, anything else? Who takes care of the trash in the cemeteries? Oh, yeah. Sexton's going to start doing it. I spoke to him last week. Well, 
Oh, yeah. Piled right up there. Oh, the Levick one's real bad. Brookside's been full for a long time. They've all been full. Well, somebody put the trash out in Brookside last week. Okay, must have been, yeah, must have been done just last Friday. Right, because when I drove by there, there was a trash bag out on the side of the road. Well, the Levick one's going to take them a while. That's going to be the sexton's job, right, Cindy? Mm -hmm. You gonna pay him more? No, it's in his job description. Always has been. He just didn't bother. <laughs> yeah. He gets paid before he goes to work. Yeah, I know. It's another fiscal. It's like the flags on the cemetery. Yeah. yeah. They've been done by somebody else other than him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Stop saving and everything. SW Cole's coming in to do their QC stuff, but they're sending the reports to Scott and not to you guys. You guys should be getting a copy of those reports too. We, we Just, have a copy. I can. Have, but is it coming from SW Cole or is it coming from Scott? Well, we can. Uh, I can, We can make it so it comes from SW Cole. I would Cole. request it from SW Cole so that you guys are seeing exactly what they're saying. Okay. Not that Scott would change anything. Do you? You don't trust Scott, Craig? He can pay the parking lot. But as far as the road, no. Jeez, I thought he did a hell of a job and want to pull it. Talk to the town of Glenburn. And see what the people have to say about about their roads. The work that Scott did last year. I know they fussed a lot down there. Because there is a lot of people that were not happy with them. Just some of the corners they tried to cut and stuff that they did. I talked to Mike and he didn't have any problem with them. Talk to the townspeople. There is a, a superintendent that works for Pike that lives in Glenburn. And I've actually I've been working with him right now, worked with him all last summer. And he has nothing good to say about him. You get what you pay for. And I know it's cheap, it's lowest bid. But he wasn't much lower than the others. There's only like a thousand dollars between him and Lane's. <clears throat> but we did try to get as much done for our dollar as oh, we yeah, could. Absolutely, as we could. Yeah. These these um these coal coal reports are all signed by I'm assuming the people who did them. Are we supposed to we're we supposed to be looking for anything that's not on here? No, just see what they say, how they're doing, and if anything's wrong. Yeah, okay. Do you, you want them? You come tell me if they're doing things. I, I, you tell me. No, and I'm not I mean, trying to be an asshole. No, no, I understand that. I just wish you were here about six months ago. I wish I would have known or I, I would have done it. If I would have known. Well, I, that you must have known we were tiring the road six I months did, ago. I did, but I didn't know it was going to be to this extent. Okay. Because, in my opinion, and it's my opinion, not as a selectman, but as a person, is if somebody's got something to say before we do something, it's great to have somebody say it. Because I remodel homes, and the last thing which has happened to me is go in and tile a bathroom floor and then have the lady walk in and say, that's the wrong color. No, I agree. And, and then I pull out a chip and say, this is the color you picked out. She goes, yeah, but I still don't like it. <laughs> and that's what, like, I didn't know it was going to be to this extent until I come over to the town office to register something. Right. And I see that the plans were laid out on the table. And then I started asking about it. Yeah. And the bid packages had already gone out. Yeah. And that's a, that's when I found out. I, I, I should have looked into it more yep. beforehand. Yes. Yep. I know everything's an afterthought. And after, oh, I know. Afterthoughts suck. Yep. So. Yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty. Exactly. You know, it, it's the same with other contractors. I've walked into people's houses where they've had a contractor in there, but I ain't going to sit there and shit on that contractor knowing he did a shitty job to the homeowner. Because mm -hmm. that's the last thing the homeowner wants to hear. So. Well, I, I have a question for you. Is is and this is just because I, these are these are new to my eyes, but um, laid uh, laid. Well, the paving laid 672 tons of laying 9.0 millimeter HMA using a cat AP 5 feet E paver. Um, 
knocked down roller, ham, HD finish. So JLO, which is the initials of the, of the um, inspector, took 18 densities, 18 densities, excuse me, behind the finish roller, and the end results ranged from 94.3 to 96.4 of the 156.3 PCF. That's a good density. That's a good density. Yes, any 92 and above is a good density. So you're happy with that? Yeah, that's a good density. Okay. Took a, a sample of the bulk mix uh, at 543 ton. Um, the calibration core was not cut, the actual end place. Densities may vary from reported densities. So. I, I can have these sent right to Cindy. I just, that's, yeah. That's not a problem for me to request that at all. Linda. I guess then you're saying that all the citizens in town should run around behind the road builder to see that he's doing it right? <laughs> well, would that be why you'd have a road for him? No, I mean, that's I, not what I'm saying. Not at all. Not at all. Part of the project was. But you just told him that he should have asked. No, I, no, no, no. I asked him. If he knew that these roads are going to be paved, the experience that he's got, it would be great if we had people in town, like himself, to come to the select board and say, hey, wait a minute, before you do this, you ought to check on this and this and this. It's just like with me. When Before I go remodel a bathroom, I want to know where the plumbing's coming from. I don't wait for the plumber to show up and say, this is where your plumbing is. I'm going to tear a wall apart, hopefully without a sawzall, and not start cutting plumbing and wires. Been there, done that. Don't want to do it again. <laughs> I think his point was, we'd love to have the input. Started? Huh? Yeah. Is that when you first started? No, that's when I hired somebody to help me. Oh, yeah. But, you know, input from citizens of the town not only does this board good, but it also does the citizens good. Because if we don't have to, the perfect example is Lou Whitaker's. If we don't have to go back and fix that five years from now, it's because Craig told us this is what really should be done. Now, when I bring this up to Scott, and if he tells me Craig's blowing it out of my ass, then I'm going to go back to Craig and say, Craig, Scott says this doesn't have to be done. Well, if I look at the report at Sewell and says, yeah, it should be done, I'm going to say, Scott, you're blowing it out of my ass, not Craig. It should be done. But was that what Sewell said to do to it? But that's why I asked about that that particular thing, because I've been over that road for 70 some years, and that is a bad piece yeah. of road. And that's well, why I asked. Well, it, it's because it's, it's, a, it's a wetland. Right. There's no wetland. place for that water to go. That's no, the, that's the problem. So, so the problem is. So, I mean, we, I mean, the problem is, I mean, one time there was a sign that said, lose lakeside apartments down there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. The water lays there. It's at the foot of that hill. It's it doesn't. If you look to the left, it's all swamp. It it doesn't go to the right but very did, well. Did, did Sewell I mean, say what to do for that? I, I don't remember what it said. I there is a spot on there where they they had a where they were going to dig it up when they were going to mill and fill it. Right. That's when she came up with doing the test for let's, let's test because we didn't know how much pavement we even had of over there. Right. They wanted so to said, see what was there before they went to the expense of digging it all up. And so that's when the they had the right. testing done. Right. And Which then we they have, discussed if you want to see him, Craig. Well, He's seen them. He's been looking through them over there. Okay. Yeah. okay. That, it's just that piece right there. Yeah. But there's I a big question. Wasted. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I said. I just and called today about ditching along that side. Can't we make that happen somehow? Right. And I mean, it's long term because that's if you don't do something about it now, it's going to be a problem there. Yeah. Right. Well, it's been Forever. a long time since we even touched that road. And like that's I said, I mean, road. all the test warning could look good. How deep did they go with it? You know, I think it won some some of those spots was I very deep. Yeah. I want to you say know, this winter it didn't feet. bother much. We didn't have it real cold weather. Right. Uh, we're going to have you know, it's like when they paved Lindsay Road right in front of Steve Philbrick's. That's still in the middle of the fall and it still helps spring. Out. It does right. this. And that's where the fabric ends. Right. Am I right? That's why I just get them. I remember that. Yep. I, d I think I so. Did most people that live out. there know that right. drops off. Right. Slow down in front of Scott. Uh, Steve. Steve's place. Yeah. I forget. We're not perfect, but we try. No, I know. 
Yeah. You know, it, we'll take all the input anybody can give us. Right, and that's what I'm, I just want to sound and get what they're in for. And it's all done running. Um, we bought salt, yeah, too. too. Um, we still didn't go over budget, but we, uh, um... And I will tell you, Scott, Walman Paven put a lot of salt and sand on these roads. Most of the dirt roads. I will agree with that. They did Most of the dirt roads. They did a roads. fantastic job. In fact, I had more calls praising no, than anything. They would come back to the storm, though, the next day and slough them off, which right. had never been done before in the time. Nope. They can plow a road. I would give them that. And after looking at Winterport's roads, beside the North Perkins Road, I think they've done a marvelous job. I mean, I've been across the Boston Road, they paved that from Dirt Road, did look good, and that's held up for 11 years. Um, most, the biggest thing about a lot of our roads is like the Miles Road, you ain't gonna have the traffic, you did the traffic study on them, what was the most traveled road, North Road? North County Road. You know, and, and the, the most traveled roads are the ones going to get the wear and tear. Now, the Littlefield Road, that ain't going to deteriorate. The Tapley Farm Road, that ain't going to deteriorate like the North County Road will. So, you know, I, I'm, we're hoping to get in a plan so that, which is, was on our agenda, was to keep these roads going the whole time. That's all we can hope for. My biggest thing is I'm, we're getting tired of spending tons and tons of money on gravel. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and if we can tire them, let's tire them. Whether we're doing it right or wrong, we had, the only guidance we had was from Souls, you know, and when Scott was on the board. And we'll welcome anything, anytime, Craig. Well, and I, I will say this, that Scott came in, came in a low bidder and then came back and said, you know, I think I can give you another bid and get all the roads done. And that's what the original intent was for these guys. For some, it was started before I got on the board, but I think the original intent was trying to pave all the roads. So we accomplished that. <laughs> Do you want that? No, I did. That I say that really doesn't tell you much. Just the densities. And, yeah. yeah. But like I said, anything above a 92 for a density is good. Huh? I would just want it like the slopes. Who's checking the slopes and? Stuff like that. I mean, I know on the North Road, if they don't grade that and bring a crown back to the road when they pave it, it's going to be flat or there's going to be a bowl right. and right. water right. going to sit in it. Right. Well, I know the contract does say a four, four degree slope. Right? I thought it was one to two percent. Where is this? On the, all the roads are supposed to have a. I can't remember. I can't remember. But I know because they didn't, I, they put offsets out as far as their center line offsets at 15 feet and 20 feet, but there's no elevations on them, there's nothing. So nobody knows what the elevation of the road was to begin with. I see. Just, it's stuff like that. Have a good night, Gary. I'm just going to the library for oh, that. Okay. <laughs> that somebody needs, like, SW Bolt needs to be there 90% of the time checking on stuff like that, making sure the town is getting what they're paying for. Do you think coal should be there or sold? But the thing with the school company, they did the town take all their recommendations? Uh, we they wanted to move the end of the little uh, the town farm road. road. We said right. we can't right. we can't yes. afford to do that. It's but I mean, enough. that's a if they made the recommendations, I would say that they need to be there to follow through with it. And they okay. changed. If, you guys changed the uh, gravel specs. Right. 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 They're using uh, crushed gravel, and we said no. Use two not, inch minus. Right. Two inch minus. Screened. Mm -hmm. Screened gravel. Yeah. They're not using class A gravel then. No. Whatever crushed gravel is. Quite a difference in price. Yeah, there is. There's yep. a huge difference class in price. Class A, not twenty one dollars to ten. No, it was a class A crushed. Right. And they changed it to a screened. And we know the crush definitely holds tighter than. <clears throat> but. but the screen gravel will pass DOT specs. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Two inch, uh, yeah, two inch minus. We had a problem with it last year. Pipe was getting the gravel from uh, Mingner mm -hmm. and their crusher broke down. So 
we get a bunch of screen travel, had the test done, they met densities and all that stuff. So I mean, screen gravel will pass for DOP tracks. Okay. As long as it ain't dirty. As long as it's not dirty. Right. I don't know. Is anybody inspecting his gravel? No. No, it, it it's. I'm getting it out of. I think he's getting out of Helen Mogan's pit. Is that where you're getting it? I believe he is. Yeah. Linda. Oh, hold on. Yeah, uh, my question was, she said something about they wanted to move the end of the severance, Tapley Road. Right. Was that because of the fence? No. No. Was For the line of sight. Oh. They wanted to move it over. They wanted to... Move it towards Webb's house. Yeah. Totally move it over. But that's... That's, get, that's getting an easement from Tapley's and moving uh, two telephone poles. And money to rebuild. Right. But, but it Re wasn't very much. No, but it was still you had to rebuild that right. road. So. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Slotman's comments. Cindy? I'm almost well, executive session. You still want to go to executive session? Do, do you? No. It says tabled until next meeting, so. Okay. Make a motion, we adjourn. I'll second it. All in favor. Two all. Mm.